I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Dilly dilly da. There are set in it a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's going on, family? Welcome to another edition of Powers Kitchen. Today, we're going to show you how to cook up spaghetti squash the fastest and easiest way I know. So, for those of you that don't eat pasta all too much or are still looking for that casserole like meal, Spaghetti squash is great to have in the casserole. Spaghetti squash is great to substitute for anything with spaghetti. So you can put just a lot of meat sauce over top of it. It's gonna turn out really well. Okay, spaghetti squash obviously is a squash. Um, you can get your vegetables in. It's really good for potassium, vitamin A, beta carotene, folic acid. Pretty much means it's good for you, so eat it. Eat them! They look weird and good. Um, but basically you cook these up and you fork it out just like um, you're scooping it out but it turns into little strands like spaghetti. Alright guys, so if you've never cooked them, the most practical way, if you have a lot of time, is you just slice them down the middle of what I'm going to show you and you cook them in the oven, oven at 350 for anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. But if you're short on time and you're like, I don't have 30 to 45 minutes to cut this, then watch this video because I'm going to show you how to cook this in 15 minutes. Alright, so first things first, you guys will need to half it. Okay, so these are pretty thick, so make sure you get a really strong knife and be careful. I like to go one side and then the other side. Alright, and you can see on the inside, just like a pumpkin or squash, they have seeds in the middle that we're going to scoop out later. Let me get the second one. Side. Oh, I should have trained for this. Always safety first. Mother of Pearl. There it is. There it is. Alright, so you can see that one a little bit more in the middle. All those little pumpkin seeds, we're going to scoop those out and uh, we'll get it so that it's nice and even. Just like a pumpkin, you just want to get all those goodness. So now that I have them nicely scooped out, all we're going to do is grab ourselves a baking dish. Okay, Dependent on how big your spaghetti squashes are. And how long they are we can see if we can fit all four in one but as you can see I can only fit three and that's okay I have a little bit more time but usually they're a lot bigger that you find in the store than this so just kind of depending on how much you want to make depends on how many you get um, so we're gonna face them flesh side down okay I'm gonna put about an inch of water into the bottom of this and now it says you can cover it can uncover it I'm just gonna put our microwave um, kind of cover on top of these bad boys as I put them in the microwave. We're going to microwave them for 10 minutes. I'm going to poke them, see if they're soft, and if not, I'll go in another five minutes. Alright guys, so we got about an inch of water in there. Okay, just going to open the microwave up. Hopefully it's clean-ish. Set them in there. And then what I'm going to do is just take this, you know, put it on top, maybe create a little bit of steam. It may not do anything, it may do everything, but we'll see. Alright, 10 minutes. And then we'll come back to it. Super simple, super easy. Like I said, the other way to do this, guys, is if um, you're using the oven, 350, do it just the same way without putting water in the bottom of it, and you just cook it for 30 to 45 minutes. But if you want to save, you know, some time, an extra half hour or so, definitely the microwave's the way to go. Makes it just as nice, um, just as super simple as before. All right, guys, so the 10 minutes is up. Make sure... You do not try to pick that up without testing it first. All right, we're gonna take a fork. So as you can see, it went straight through. Still a little tough on that one. Straight through on that one. I'm gonna put it in for another three to five minutes. 
then retest. Um, I'm not too worried about over overcooking them um, because uh, it is. These are all tender. We are going to take them out. They're going to be hot. Okay. We want to let them rest and cool down. As you can see, holding that is pretty hot. So we're going to let them rest, cool down a little bit, and then we will shred them up. All right, guys. So we'll be back. For so now let these guys cool down for about five or ten minutes. Um, it's a little bit easier to handle them. I'm still going to kind of use a towel just in case, but all you're going to do is just take your fork. See how it just tears away and looks like spaghetti right there. You're just going to take it all the way to the skins of them and you're going to get a lot of this spaghetti squash. It's like so It's that simple and easy, 15 minutes in a dish with a little bit of water underneath. Just make sure you unseat it. And this is what you get the finished product. Like I said, it looks like spaghetti. You can keep this in the refrigerator. Um, you can be able to cook up some meat sauce. Just put it right over just as if you're having spaghetti. Uh, tonight we're going to be using it in a casserole. So I just thought I'd pre-make it right now so I didn't have to do it when we get home uh, late at work tonight. So. It'll make it that much simpler to be able to then cook our casserole and be that much faster. So, guys, get this super simple, super easy way to get some good squashes in, some minerals and vitamins that we need into ourselves and tricking ourselves as if we're eating pasta. All right, guys, be fit, eat healthy, and live life large.